Amy. Hey, Jack. I'm gay. Oh my god, that is so funny. I'm also gay. I was uh, gonna tell you. Wait, really? Yeah. And, and you're, you're listening, listening to Dating Strain. Hey, Amy. Hiya. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey, guys. Hi, guys. Oh. <laughs> Karen. That's us. Ew. Oh, no. That's us. How fucking dare you, Tammy. <laughs> Tammy oh. and Tammy. Both Tammy's worse. Horrible. Wow. What do what do y'all people call you though? What's the ship name? We don't have people. I don't think we have ship names. Yeah. No. We're individuals. <laughs> okay. yeah. Who we are mature. <laughs> We're too old for ship names. Is yeah. that true? Do you like age out of ship names at some point? Mm. For Angelina did never did. Yeah. So maybe not. That's tough. Maybe not. Their yeah. ship name lasted longer than them. Whoa. But it's so long. I so so. Long. It's tough. What was Brad and Jennifer? Did they have one? Benefer. 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 But did they? Have- yeah. Oh, Benefer was a thing. Okay. Amy, when did you get so cool? Yeah, you're you're giving um. Where's my phone? I want to take a picture. Monica of you. from Friends vibes, Whoa. but in like a in a cooler Phoebe way. Yes. When did you get so cool? Is that offensive? Uh, <laughs> no. When did you get so much cooler? Yeah, like what, dude? You do look cool. Like you wearing your glasses right now. Thank you. It's because I'm the only one in the sun. Yeah. Cute. Anyway, sure. today we have <laughs> Cammy and Taryn. Cam and Cam and Tar. And Frank. And Frank. And, and Frank. Frank. He's out of frame. Out of frame, but in our not out of mind. In our hearts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. Um, you guys know Cam and Taryn. Maybe. No introduction from, needed. Yeah. From being living with me, I it's was us. actually how you guys. True. Yeah, it always comes back to that. Yeah, it always how does. you guys live together. We I wish did. I would have lived there. I do think about those days. I and think wish, you would have really enjoyed it. I, I think, think I, would, I have too. would have enjoyed it more. Okay, that's we out here. Um. Anyway, that you guys are dating now. So. Yeah, that's great. We found our way. That's. Makes sense. Yeah. (laughs) Um, Before we get into too deep, um, make sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Check out the Patreon Mm -hmm. that we Mm -hmm. do. New episodes and live streams and things like that. Also, get this. What? We just had a pre-show. You can listen to all about pregnancy (gasps) and turkey basting. It was hot. Is Sam pregnant? You'll have to find out. Is she basting? (laughs) You'll find out on the uh, Apple Podcast app. And or Spotify. Spotify. Cute. Or, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Stitcher. What yeah, Stitcher. Yeah. Stitcher. 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 Or Stitcher. Stitcher. So, guys, we're at your new house. We're here. Which we you do. Bought with money. We always said Cam was the richest, didn't we? <laughs> it's proven. It literally, it's, been proven. it's wild. Real it's estate. very wild. Um, how have you been enjoying it? It's been stressful. Um, We We always start with the stress. It's been great. It's It's been amazing. It's very beautiful. It's been amazing. You know. It feels so good. It's fun to own it. And (laughs) it is. It's good to be rich. It's it's just very fun to like put money into something that like you're investing in yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That feels so good instead of just like pissing away money with rent. Yeah. And wanting to do upgrades and being like, this means something. I'm not just going to pay more money on top of it when I move out because my landlord's going to be pissed. Right. So it feels great. It has been, like, on Sunday was our first day that we were like, oh, we get to enjoy a normal day. Yeah. Every day has just been, like, high stress, which has been a lot. What did you do on Sunday? On Sunday, we um, had a little charcuterie board. We went to the park. We went to the park. We had rosé. We read. Oh, my gosh. I want to be them. It was really fun. It was just, like, yeah, it felt like very a mature Sunday. (laughs) I think the, the, the stress of the house is, like, for both of us, we're so, we can't relax until things feel clean or settled or whatever. Mm -hmm. But then when you move into a new place and then you have the control to, like, demolish walls and stuff and you don't have to ask anyone else, you're kind of like, should we just do it? Mm-hmm. Like, let's just do it. It's so Very thrilling. And But it's also so, you can't ever settle down. There's no yeah. peace. 
Frank is pooping, pooping in the us. back. He just peed Frank all. Frank is literally just letting loose. Can you see loose. it on camera? I don't know. I can't What's tell. What's so unfortunate it, is we're gonna smell it. It's gonna I, be wafty. I really tried to ignore it for the podcast, and I couldn't. It was just right, it was staring at me. Hi, buddy. Frankie Frank boy. On one today. He's really is it because Jack is back. Yes. Well, yeah. and maybe he's, he's got a new back. house. Like he, he's probably he feeling free. He loves the new house. Do they like it? Yeah. Yeah, they're obsessed. They like to stand on the balcony and just sniff into the ether, and it's really cute. Like, they're just like, <laughs> oh, she's going to do it. Yeah. There she goes. <laughs> on cue, Riggins. She's smiling. You. Look yeah. at her. Well, they, they get a view. Is, but... That's yes. got to be new. Yeah. yeah. Like, they're, they're, they have a perch to sort of guard mm-hmm. dog, you know? Yeah. I just waved at her. I have this weird thing where I, I wave at Riggins, like, fairly often, mm-hmm. and then I realize that she probably, I don't know. Do you think she gets it? She I think she gets it. Know. She's a smart guy. Thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring this episode of the podcast. I love therapy. Oh, yeah, we love therapy. Oh, yeah. Um, Is there something interfering with your happiness or is preventing you from achieving your goals? Mine is, you know, this past year. It's getting (laughs) in my way. (laughs) BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating in under 48 hours, which is so Super fast. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It's professional counseling done securely online. Especially now, everything's online. BetterHelp is a no freaking brainer. Uh, There's a broad range of expertise available, which may not be locally available in many areas. And the service is available for clients worldwide. Yes. So the great thing about BetterHelp is that you can log into your account anytime and send a message to your counselor and you'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions. um, So you won't have to sit in like a weird waiting room, you know, and let everyone else know that like you're going through it. (laughs) Um, BetterHelp also is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. Um, And it's more affordable than traditional offline counseling, and financial aid is available. So BetterHelp wants you to start living happier today. Visit BetterHelp.com slash dating. That's better, H-E-L-P, and join the over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. And in fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they are recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. So there is someone for you, babe. Oh, yeah, babe. Um, This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and Dating Straight listeners get 10% off their first month by going to betterhelp.com slash dating. I highly, highly recommend it. Definitely give it a shot. Also, give Curology a shot. Thank you so much, Curology, for sponsoring this episode as well. Uh, I used to think that my skin goals were unattainable. You were I, wrong. I was wrong for like period. Um, I mean, I have fine lines and I have, you know, well, we all have paws, but I have you know, blackheads. And so I'm really thankful that I found Curology. Yeah. And whether you're trying to take control of acne or if acne is no longer your top skin concern, that's like me. My, I'm more, you know, getting up there in the age <laughs> reign. It's ridiculous. Looking to, uh, you know, stop my fine lines, dark spots and things like that while, while I'm ahead. You mm. know what I mean? Um, so I'm looking to tackle that problem. And Curology will customize a prescription formula with three active ingredients picked for you to tackle your skincare needs like they did for me. I don't know if you can tell I'm kind of glowing. Um, And yeah, I mean, I love it. It was super awesome. The quiz was really thorough, but really quick and easy. And also kind of fun. And also kind of fun. You get to upload pictures of your face and be like, oh my God, that's what I look like. (laughs) Um, And then you get your treatment plan. Um, after taking a couple selfies and it matches you with a licensed dermatology provider who gets to know your skin. And if it's a good fit, you'll get a customized prescription cream to address your um, issue that you want to tackle. Um, So yeah, like I said, super awesome, super easy. They send it right to your door. It's personalized so you know it's perfect for you. And then they follow up with you to make sure that you're feeling good, um, which I was. So... (laughs) Take control of acne, dark spots, breakouts, or whatever your unique concerns may be with a powerful skincare treatment made for you today. Go to Curology.com slash dating for a free 30-day trial and just pay shipping and handling. That's C-U-R-O-L-O-G-Y dot com slash dating to unlock your free 30-day trial. Thanks, Curology. I I think when you wave at dogs, they don't understand that you're trying to like, like just say hi. I think they think that you're trying to like 
show them what's in your hand. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh. Like, it's getting their they're attention Because they're, like, always, like, <laughs> following the hand. Yeah. You know I, mean? I just did it, and now she's approaching, so maybe Uh-oh. you're right. Yeah. Cute. Anyway, well, congratulations. <laughs> Thank this you, guys. This is beautiful. It is beautiful. I'm... Jackson, move back in. Yeah, I'm, I, that's what I said to Candy. Please said, do. Let's be roommates again. Oh my god, <laughs> like this is so exciting. I already proposed Jack uh, watching the dogs. Why well, I said Frank? I didn't throw in rigs yet. This, this is <laughs> oh the yeah, news that I'm you're taking her. She's yeah. included. <laughs> um, but he said yes. By the way, perfect. Yeah. And, but then he's not leaving, and we I'm can't throw him out. That's squatter, my, squatter loss. <laughs> <laughs> that's my move-in date that's and <laughs> your move-out date. <laughs> For a roommate because Cute. I wanted to wish you a congratulations on what? your new job. What? I just got hired, you guys. <laughs> That's a big for deal. What? It's a big deal. <sighs> well, I had my True Jackson VP moment, so oh I'm God, the I senior vice it. president. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> no, I am creating content for a online video editor <gasps> called Kapwing. Oh my God. Um, and so pretty much it's like like, I like to explain it to people. Like, it's like the Canva mm. of video editing. <gasps> I do smell poop, um, <laughs> by the way. Um, and, yeah. And so, um, I they don't really do, like, paid media where mm-hmm. they, like, promote their product. It's mostly, like, they'll make, like, TikToks and YouTube videos about, like, here's how you do a tutorial on mm-hmm. this TikTok trend, right? And then they'll be like, and today we're going to use Kapwing. And so, um, yeah, I got oh hired. Oh, my God. Congrats. Um, yeah, it's... Thank you. Yeah, it does I'm feel so excited good. For you. Um, I get equity in the company, so like, if it oh, does there well, we go. Like, that's yeah. I'm gonna. That's, the good stuff. that's very yeah. Good. Thanks, guys. Um, yeah. So you know, ten years from now, if the company sells for billions, I'm gonna be the richest. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> or if they get bought. So keep up. It's good stuff. <laughs> Those um, companies are so good to be a part of too, because they're like, even if they never go public, they might get bought from exactly, Google or Google. something. Yeah. Or, and the CEOs and that's Gucci. came from Google. So they've got there the we connection. Go. I'm actually Gucci. interested. I, I want you to tell me more about it later. I've, yeah. I've heard of it. I think I've used it. I have it. Yeah. So the, How exciting. the interesting thing though, um, that I was going to tell you about. Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> but I'll tell you now. It's like, I'm moving. I'm quitting well, the podcast. <laughs> they are based in San Francisco. Oh. Which I already told you, I Karen think. Karen knows it. Yeah. Um, Karen knows. I've heard. Yeah. I've heard. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, yeah, right now, obviously, they're remote. But like... Maybe not always. Maybe not forever. How big is our team? I think like 20 people. Mm. So it's kind of useful to be there if... Yeah, so that's I'm, what's you so should confusing do it. about the world right now, and I'm glad I don't work in that area because it's like no one knows if you're going back, if you're not. Yeah. So like, well, and what do keep, you do with your life? They keep saying like the best case scenario. They're like, we want to be back at this time, right? But mm-hmm. then they just send out a survey to me, being like, when do you think we should actually go back? And like, what did you say? Then asking you, when do you think we should go back, Jack? <laughs> Well, they're they just asked everyone. asking know, when people are comfy. I said, I said, um, like until like everyone's vaccinated, yeah. it doesn't yeah. really sound Agreed. like as secure to me. Mm-hmm. Um, because one of their ideas was to have like herd immunity in the office, so like seventy percent of people immune or yeah. immunized, which like I think in theory is a good idea, but like it's not enough. I'm not sure that I'm not sure, really sure how herd immunity works. Mm-hmm. So um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, so I suggested. January 2022 to like go through another fall winter cycle to see if like things spike up again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. Um, okay, doctor. With variants and all but then that, you might we really move don't know. To San Francisco, and you should. Yeah, I mean, you think I should? You 100 percent should. Amy's fist. <laughs> Taryn, shut the well, fuck up. Well, no, but, but what I was gonna say is, even if I, you know, did have to move, I still think we could make the podcast work because you guys have made the, it work. Well, I would. I would like to even come back. Like maybe twice a month. The flights are literally fifty dollars. I mean, really? Literally we did fifty dollars. When she was in San Francisco, I flew out of Burbank every time. It yeah. was very affordable. Southwest. Yes. Point. I that's just signed the up only for reason. There you that's go. the only reason I was like stoked about San Francisco was because I could be from like leaving my apartment in San Francisco to landing or to being at home or your house. Mm-hmm. It's Two and, two and a half hours. hours. Yeah, so so literally. So it's like coming from San Diego. Yeah, literally. Yeah. So yeah. like, and you it's guys fun. I could just do that on the weekend. Yeah. Exactly. Was it fun or was it like difficult a little bit? 
How long were you doing that long distance thing for? Not super long. It was only like a couple months. Yeah. But it was so easy. I, I mean, I think that's different when it's your relationship because you want something normal. But for you guys having like a business yeah, relationship. We don't have to yeah, you, <laughs> you guys aren't like, you can hang out. You're not like missing each other in that way. Yeah. You're yeah. not like waiting to bone. Well, <laughs> I'm sure I would. I'm sure day. I would. But another thing that I also think is like, get. Getting back into the offices right now, I'm pretty sure they would be flexible in terms of like, you only come into the office like three days a week. So oh, then I could come yeah. back for four days. I you think know? they'll always be like, flexible in that sense. Yeah. So I could fly back on a Thursday, still work from home, work remotely. Mm -hmm. And we could record like and Thursday, Friday and afternoons. And in the guest and then, room down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Um, most, most tech companies are either doing like a, we're fully remote always. Like I think Twitter did that. Mm -hmm. And then there's a hybrid where you can say, I'm going to come in three days a week and exactly. then they have a desk space for you for mm -hmm. those three days or whatever. And then you could always come in and then you have a dedicated desk space all the time. But I think most people are going to do the come in for half a couple days half. a week and be yeah. done. Yeah. I'm so and it's excited. totally worth it. You should totally do fun it. Of yeah. like, having that sort of like making new friends in a new yeah. place, but also like being really close, really cheap. I mean, like we could even with like what we make from the podcast, like that's so affordable to do like twice a month, 120 bucks for a flight. Like that's easy. Yeah. And so, yeah. Thank God. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, that's what, I, no, that's what I, I was calling you about the other day when oh. you were doing something. What was and I was <gasps> no! say what you were doing. I can tell like I was boning. Well, she might have been pre boning, maybe. What's a pre-bone? I was at dinner. What was going on? <laughs> dinner. Oh. I was at dinner. Yeah. She she got the bone. With a special someone. Whoa, Jack. <laughs> what are you doing to me right I now? We all like outing each other all the time. It's cute. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Um, I love that. Yeah, so that's the update with me. That and is a huge update. That I'm is so exciting. That is so you. exciting. Thanks, guys. Thanks. You're living in San Diego right now, though, right? Yeah, I'm literally living exactly two and a half hours away anyway. So oh. like... It would be a shorter commute. It honestly. would be a shorter commute if the I went... The flight's under an hour. And I do it twice in one day right now. Yeah. I go up and back. So that's like five hours of oh travel a day. Like it would literally oh, be yeah, easier, Oh yeah, you're to San Francisco. Even. You'll find, you're fine. We'll all see you more. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's cute. But until then, I'm actually... And you would just stay at like Nan's when you yeah, come? Yeah, or Gail's or oh a friend. Can yeah. I come stay at Gail's? Nan's or Gail's? Who are these people? <laughs> <laughs> right, it's aunts. It's family. Oh. Anyway. Thank you. Enough about me. That's, oh, but I am not enough about me. <laughs> more about me. More about and me. Back to Jack again. Before <laughs> any of that happens, I am moving here. Oh my God, fine. Starting in a week or so. What? I'm living with my cousin, dog sitting my cousin's dog for six weeks. Oh my God, perfect. <laughs> um, so I'll Practice be back. And then after house. that, Wait, when's that up? Because then that's when you could come. Uh, I'll that's, sit here. That's up <laughs> we'll um, mid-May. Mid-May. Perfect. That could be perfect. Okay. <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. You're booked through June, so keep okay. your calendar open. Yeah. Um, but so, yeah, that's that's everything. And so I'm feeling really wow. excited. A lot of weight is lifted off of me of like, mm. I can finally survive. Yeah, like your fears of maybe I'll live at home forever. I just like. Are curbed. Yeah, They're gone. dissipating. <laughs> Franklin, no, leave it. I think there's um, like a squirrel up there. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Oh my Frankie. God, yes. No. Frank, stop. No. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> no, no. He's on the move. No. Frankie, enough. Oh. What? He's jumped out and hit my face. <laughs> oh, you're struggling over there. Guys, what? stop. Darren, what's up the gay? <laughs> oh my God. Guys, stop. <laughs> Guys, stop. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. Um, what's the gay life like in San Fran? I feel like it's really good. It's great. Everybody's gay and smart. And so that is really fun. Yeah, I think Jack is I will not fit in. gonna fit in there no, very no, no. well. There is like tech smart and then there's like... Wait, why did you say you wouldn't fit in? I don't think I'm smart. You are yeah, smart. You are. You're very I'm, intelligent. I don't think I'm smart, but you you're think you're I'm smart. You're, smart. you're, you're the same smart that I'm smart. Oh, Mm. Hot. Maybe. Um, what are me and Amy? <laughs> <laughs> don't ask. The very, best, very don't cool. You're very cool. Yeah. <laughs> the best part about living in San Francisco is that everyone is your age. And everyone is, no one is I like living. everyone has that same jacket. <laughs> oh my God, you do look very I'm getting San red right now. You're, you're, Amy, you look cool. Jack, you look smart. 
<laughs> What's wrong with looking smart? Yeah, yeah. smart's cool. I don't think you look smart. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I frankly, I don't. I don't. No, you you look very San Francisco vibes, and I think you're gonna love it. I'm so excited for you. I feel like you've been like. A little Ooh. lost at sea over the past few years, not really sure where you wanted to go. Few dock. years? <laughs> yeah, Fuck. you've been like, not sure what you want to do. No, you're like, true. go it's back true. to school, don't go back to school, this, that. Yeah. And you're like, I feel like you're you're cruising now. Mm-hmm. It is true. You know, I feel um, it's more centered Good. and just like. You seem it. Thank you. You're welcome. Enough about me. That's it. That's this it for me. We can talk later. We do, we'll, we'll chat over, you know, mimosas Cute. soon when we're. All fully vaccinated and like can kiss or something. Correct. Can't um, wait. Can't wait to get back to the kissing. But <laughs> all let's... that kissing that we were all up to. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's our Saturday. Franklin. Oh my god, they are Woo-hoo. fighting. Um. Oh, that's a great place to pick up. What? They just kissed. <gasps> First so... time. Are you guys together? <laughs> <laughs> First time for everything. <laughs> <laughs> um. So tell us. So you were long distance. Mm-hmm. I guess let's yeah, let's talk more about that. But before that, you were long distance besties. Yeah, we like would literally when we were friends for what four five years. We never know the exact I amount of time. Say five. I don't know I why. I would say five too, but, but I, I like don't know how five. many years it was. Yes. But we would see each other like once a year and somehow keep in contact, which is like so not me. I don't like open up to people, but I was always really close with Tara. Lucky beach. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know why. We just like kept in each other's orbit. We only like we would see each other at random things or like Patreon things that mm-hmm. I would invite you to mm-hmm. or. Even though I was like, I'm never going on Patreon. She kept <laughs> inviting me to the events. Well, that was just because we wanted to hang out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> did Did you like looking back now? Okay. So, you know, when we were all 13, it's like, oh, that was gay. Do you look back now and be like, oh, that was learned? That is a great comparison. <laughs> um, <laughs> it really is, though, because you're like, oh, I was obsessed with my camp counselor who is a girl and, like, would always untangle her necklaces for her, but I just wanted to do it for fun. Whoa. Wait. <laughs> oh, my God. Cam That's always really says intimate. This. It and was. So... I was like, I can untangle it, and now I'm really good at untangling necklaces because I would lie to her and say I was You good at are, it. She does actually. it with her mouth. I'm- I would always be like, I have a problem. And then Cammy would be like, give it to me. Yeah. And then in two seconds, I'd be foolishly putting it back on perfectly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I don't know what, what that is, but people that can untangle necklaces, it's actually, you feel like really taken care of by them. Wow. Well, yeah. I got you, baby. You got me. But yeah, I think, I think in hindsight, there were, like I said, I don't open up to people easily. I'm not one to like pursue new friendships very often. Like I'm pretty guarded, or at least I used to be. And I was like wanting to tell Taryn all my secrets, which Mm -hmm. is like, why? Why did I want to like be so vulnerable with this stranger (laughs) who I saw once a year for five years? Like, what was that? And why was I like being invited to her family holiday parties? Yeah, I want to more about that. Um, I don't know. I think I just (laughs) didn't have a lot of gay friends. Obviously I love Cam, but... I did. I also didn't have a lot of gay friends, and I had followed Cammy and Shannon prior to meeting them, and so I was always like, I don't know. I just they. She wanted a mentor. <laughs> <laughs> Hot. Uh, <laughs> no, but I think I just like it's the same old story as why a lot of people follow you. You guys were like this like femme couple, and it felt like you. I could relate because I I didn't see myself represented elsewhere and all mm-hmm. that. But then when we became friends, I was like, oh, it wasn't just like something in my head where I thought that we would actually get along. It was like we actually enjoy each other. And so when I would come down to L.A. and I think I would like want to expand that part of my life because I didn't really have I had no gay friends in San Francisco until later Mm -hmm. Um, when I would come down, I would see you and I would invite you to stuff because it just felt like I was like planting a seed into that part of my life and like being around more gay people and stuff. Yeah, and um, you did. Watered it. Cute. <laughs> Watched it grow. And your mom always knew we'd end up together. My mom is really? obsessed with Cammy since day one. Did she say one. that, like, even before you guys started dating? She would tell yeah. you that? Yeah, she would always <gasps> really? be like, that girl, there's just something about her. Oh my She's. She also really loves, like, beautiful people. <laughs> She's... <laughs> 
She's kind of vain, maybe she a little. She hates ugliness. <laughs> yeah. I think she's very blinded by beauty. Um, so she would always Thanks. say that. <laughs> I'll take That's it. a great compliment. And yeah. she goes to like a lot of like spiritual guides. So I yeah. bet they told her that this was going to happen. They might have. I bet. What would you say to that? It's like, mom... Okay. Well, I would always just be like, everybody likes Cammy. Like, of course, right. it's that kind of thing. Okay. Like, you know, <laughs> you're just like, okay, sure. If it was some random ass person that's like not interesting or pretty, then it's like, mom, what are you talking about? But it's like, that's everybody's crush, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. um, and to your question about being 13 and looking back, I have one memory of, of looking back and being like, this was some gay shit. Was when you came and visited one time. When I was 13. No, no. <laughs> when you came and visited one time, uh, I like, normally if I have friends visit, we <gasps> crash oh, in the same bed. Oh, Very yeah, easy. Oh, so obvious. You know. Like, duh. <laughs> and when she came and visited, I was like, she's like, I'll sleep on the couch. I was like, no, 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 take my bed. Like, totally take my bed. But like, she's like, refuse to sleep in the bed together. <laughs> she's like, you could sleep in here. And I was like, no, I cannot. Yeah. I will not sleep in here. And then I just like. I was single. You weren't. I was So not. I think you were like. That's not smart. But if I had any other friend come up, guy or girl, I would have been like, totally. Yeah. Right. All's well. Let's cuddle up. Yeah. So there was obviously something going on where it was like, oh, this is like, this is something more. Mm -hmm. Or you would have just left in the bed with me. It shouldn't have been yeah, an it's issue. It's tempting yeah. or something. Yeah. There was, but, there was a little something, but proud that we never acted on anything ever. I still am like... Okay. <laughs> I'm just happy, you know? Yeah. Makes I feel, me feel like proud. that feels good that we, like, let life happen. Mm -hmm. Even though I think if we would have realized that there was something more there sooner, like, we probably would have gotten together sooner. But I think it was it worked out perfectly that one of us was always in a relationship because I don't think individually we were ready for our person yet. Mm -hmm. So it, like, worked that it we didn't say anything or act on anything or do anything until we were both single and yeah. ready to mingle. Um. Mm -hmm. Cute. And so you said that you followed Miss Camden yep. prior to like like you were kind of a fan like you oh, kind of big time <laughs> like would you fan say is a strong word you're she dating has liked a fan every one of my Instagram photos ever yeah that can't be true. true find one you haven't liked I dare you Whoa. I'm sure I've gone okay back, that's big but... fan mode actually that's not true well you're very like you are always like that you like like everything. But I like to take, I wear it as a badge of honor. I don't. Anyway. Yeah, cool. That's great. Yeah, I'm that dating a right. fan. <laughs> yeah. What's it like dating a fan? <gasps> you know, it's it's probably how Justin feels dating Haley. I, mm. I would equate it to. It's pretty cool. Cute. I'm dating Justin. <laughs> <laughs> I think, honestly, like, it, you'd be hard pressed to find someone who had never heard of you before. That's what was hard. It's like, it's not. I don't know about that. You don't think Anyone? that you're like the face of the lesbian community? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't. You were definitely the femme face. I think so. The femme face of the YouTube Yeah. Community. Yeah. Like LA yeah, like some YouTubers. people don't. There are gay people out there who don't like follow social media people. Yeah. Like I've met lesbians who literally don't have any clue who I yeah. am. Yeah. yeah. And they're the coolest ones. I just haven't <laughs> dated them. Kidding. That is so I'm kidding. I'm My kidding. also new cam before. <laughs> I'm kidding. You guys, we're all internet people. Yeah. That was like a read for all of us. My yeah. ex-ex girlfriend showed me you and was like, look at this couple Your I found. Ex -ex. Emily. <laughs> Yeah, Hello, like, Emily. <laughs> showed me you. And then I was like, oh, interesting. And then the reason... I didn't know this. ...that my last girlfriend and I started te texting at all was because of Cam. Because I posted a picture with Cammy and my friend Steven. Oh, my God. And she DM'd and was like, wait, how do you know Cammy? And I was like, how do you know Cammy? Because I didn't know she was gay. So then that's the whole reason we started dating. Oh, my God. So kind of... You've been I've haunting been her yeah. relationship <laughs> yeah. for years. She's been well, waiting. I've just been like planting the seed to be like, <laughs> someday, bitch. That is kind of bizarre, though. It's really weird to really think about it. You like, like manifested it. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Fate. Thing. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Love you. Oh. Love you. Thank you. Frank wants some love. Look at him. Love you. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here uh -oh, uh -oh. Love you. <laughs> That's the love I always looked up to. Like, I think it's Fairy so tale. cute when yeah. people are just friends and then, like, oh, you've been here all along. Like, I've always thought that was so cute. 
And even like once we got together, I didn't realize that I had that. And then looking back, I'm like, oh my God, you were that person for me that you were just like there and supportive and great. That's so cool. Oh my Look God. At them. I think well, they like each other. It's almost like the no? gay equivalent, I feel like, of like high school sweethearts because like we didn't really yeah. have that. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you guys Baby. kind of have that like storyline, even though it's yeah. older. That's so sweet. Even- <laughs> yeah. Or like you know, so, so old. Yeah. Yeah. So even though we are sweetheart. two high school <laughs> students combined each. So yeah. Um, I could have gone to high school twice. Was that really scary to like have that? Who initiated the conversation from like going from friends to wait, maybe I. Uh oh. Is it? Taryn did. <laughs> it was kind of mutual. It was like, I think when we were both kind of like tiptoeing around wait. it. Hold on, I have to <laughs> stop you. That does not sound mutual when Taryn goes. <laughs> and you point at her and then you say, I was mutual. It was definitely Karen <laughs> first. It was definitely We're missing some part yeah. of the well, puzzle. Because I think we were both like <laughs> slightly tiptoeing, but but Taryn like Said was it. more blunt about it. And then I was like, <laughs> me too. <laughs> was that really scary for you, Taryn? She was wasted. <laughs> <laughs> I was wasted. So we were talking about our past relationships. And I said something about how I was always worried that you were going to get married. You said something like, oh, this is what happened. You said, you know, I would make you one of my bridesmaids. Yeah. And then, mm-hmm. and then I was well, like, she said that no, to me we too. were talking about, we were talking about <laughs> what you say? <laughs> so she said that to me too. Does that mean what next? <laughs> yes. Maybe if you would have come back with, how about the bride? That's where I see <laughs> yeah, this there coming, we right? Go. Yeah. I was like, hint, hint. No, we are talking about mm. like how close we are even though we like don't see each other often. And Mm -hmm. I was like, it's crazy because I think the best way to tell who like is really important in your your life is like, who would you want in your wedding? Like that's like the question of like, who would be there? Who would be standing with you? Who's most important? And it was like, Taryn was one of those people that immediately popped in my head that I was like, you are one of those core people in my life. Mm -hmm. And that's so crazy. And I was shocked because I was like, one, I didn't, I just did not think Cammy had me up on that list so high. So mm-hmm. I was like, oh, that's so crazy. And then I said, uh, I said something, or maybe later we were texting. I don't remember. But I said something like, oh, I. Texting, texting. It was weird to talk about marriage and, and being like being in your, in your wedding. wedding. Just like I was always so scared you were going to get married or something. Yeah. I said something where I kind of threw it out. It oh was, my God. Yeah, it, it, was, it was a tiptoe thing again where it was like, well, it was kind of like the, but I want to be in the bride. But yeah. not that yeah. bold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. then she said. And I would have objected. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would be standing up there with you and be like, no, 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 bitch. <laughs> and then she said, like, wait, I really, this is what she said. I really wish you would have said this sooner, is mm-hmm. what you said. Mm-hmm. And then my heart dropped and I sat there staring at my phone and I was like, holy fuck. And then I was confused that she was just drunk or something. And I was like, what is happening? Is, are we about to have the conversation that I think we're going to have? Because I thought Taryn was like so close with everyone. I mean, she is. She's a great friend. Like if, if you're friends with Taryn, you know. But so I just thought she was always like this. And for me to be this close with somebody was so rare. Like that was weird for me. So I was like, I saw our friendship even just as like really special. And I was like, I'm just another one of her fucking friends that she like gives she Taryn makes you feel like the most important person so I was like I'm not that important (laughs) as I think I am to her and then when she said that I was like oh my god I don't feel crazy anymore like I knew I knew I was important to her oh yeah cute so tell the people you love you love them yes please or that you'll be pissed if you're their bridesmaid and not their bride (laughs) seriously I think that's probably gonna be my dying wish when I'm like on my deathbed, I'm going to be looking at my kids and I'm going to be like, you go tell, I'm going to look at my grandkids probably and be like, you go tell them. You go tell that little person you've got a crush on that you do because you have no idea how it's going to go. Mm-hmm. And it's probably going to go bad. Like, likely it's going to go bad. <laughs> but that's but okay. the off chance that it's right, it's worth it. It's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cam, was Aww. that like maybe a little bit of a test when you said like, I want you to be my bridesmaid? Oh, one billion percent. I don't think you thought that when you I, were saying it. I still don't think that. We talk that. about this a lot and she doesn't believe me every time I'm like, I literally was like, 
Yes, I was trying to equate it to like how important you were to me. But I was like, I one was being like, you mean so much to me. Mm-hmm. But it was also kind of like, what would you say here? Right, because it's almost like I couldn't borderline tell I friend, friend zoning then, almost. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you wouldn't accept it. It was the opposite <laughs> of what I would think of like a move, is her being like, you definitely be next to me while I be go be wed to someone well, I'm else. Like, <laughs> I'm not confident enough to make the first move like that. Like, I was too scared that she'd be like, oh, you don't ooh, want to I thought friendship. we were friends. Yeah. So it was like easier to be like, me be like, oh, we're friends to see how she reacted. Yeah. yeah. And I did see her face get a little sad when I said it in person. So I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I made her sad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, that feels so long ago right now. Just thinking about that feels it's weird. Yeah, it's really weird. Pandemic man. Mm-hmm. I know. Well, you, you guys have really gone <laughs> through your relationship from pretty much the beginning in the pandemic. Yeah. Which is a precarious situation to be in because, and you both work from home, obviously. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's bizarre. And I always tell Amy, like, never find someone who also works from home if you work from home. Mm-hmm. I'm interested in hearing about how spending that much time with each other has. Like, I'm sure you've gotten closer than, like, mm-hmm. most couples get in this short amount of time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But also, how do you keep this, you know, from getting on each other's toes, you know? Yeah. I mean, you can't. You can't keep from that. I think we are really good at communicating. So, we, like, ex- We've learned <laughs> to be good at communicating. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. we would fight a lot about dumb shit mm-hmm. for the first few months of, like, living together. Because we... Our beginning... The beginning of our relationship, we moved in together and there was a pandemic. So, both of them... But going from long distance was crazy, first, which is Whoa. like long yeah. distance is is both the easiest and hardest thing in the world because you're like you're only any you you could spend a bunch of time together, you could spend like weeks together, but you're in the other person's space. Yeah. So there's like there's you're like there's no boundaries because you're kind of like oh this is your space if it if it's messy if it's clean it's whatever I respect what you want mm-hmm. and then we like made our own spaces each other's space. And that was, like, a quick time of adjustment. And, like you said, working from home. And then it was, like, there's a pandemic, so no one else, we can't see anyone else. Yeah. <laughs> you two It was the literally world. us yeah. on an island. Yeah. Just, like, and then we adopted a dog. And then, <laughs> just then like, we bought a house. <laughs> <laughs> it was very crazy. Yeah, it's been crazy. And I think I have, like, a lot of trauma around setting boundaries where I, like, for, I think I've gotten so much better, especially through therapy go to therapy kids that I've like I've, I didn't realize what was me being like too difficult and what was me knowing myself and knowing the boundaries I need and vocalizing that mm. so I would get to a point where I just I wouldn't be saying anything and then I would get mad like I if I'm working I have this complex of like my what I do as a job isn't respected and that like if I'm like scrolling through products buying stuff online product for a video it looks like I'm just online shopping. And then I'm like, you try to talk to me and you're like, I wouldn't do that if you're in a meeting. So mm-hmm. that was like a big button for us for a while. I was like, literally don't talk to me. Maybe I have ADHD. I don't know. But I like can't focus on too many things. Yeah. So, and that doesn't bother me at all. Like if I'm doing anything, you could come in and be like, hey, real quick, can you look at this and tell me what you think or something? And mm-hmm. that's like, great, sounds good. And then I just go right back to it. And that's probably... From office life. Yeah. That's what I was which is say. like, I'm so used to being around people yeah, and like, constantly no. and people just come to your desk and they pop in and you haven't had that ever. Mm-hmm. Um, and so that was definitely hard because then I would get mad when she would get mad at me. Like, because she'd be like, stop or something. Oh, those did- were all our fights. Like, yeah. some, one, one person gets their feelings hurt or mad and then the other person's mad at that person's <laughs> mad. <laughs> yeah. It's been like the cycle of all of our arguments. Oh, yeah. Lip and. We're, we still work on that. We've gotten so much better, but it's like, we yeah, we get butt hurt that the other ones, like, how could, this is exactly <laughs> what happens. Cam's working. I'm like, hey, babe. I go bug you, and you're like, yeah, the stop. King. I'm like, don't fuck <laughs> me. She's like, I can't focus right now, whatever. And then I'm like, okay, sorry. And she's like, sorry, I just don't feel respected. And then I get mad that she could think that I'm disrespecting her. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. I'm just trying to buy groceries, or like, I'm trying to do something for the group, <laughs> mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. group. <laughs> For this family. For this family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, exactly. But anyway, 
to answer your question in a very long way, yeah, that took a really long time to get used to. And um, it was just everything all at once and yeah. no outlet. Like normally you'd be at work or I would like wake up and go work out in the morning and get that release. But then it's like, I think it was hard for everyone to be home. But then it's almost like you put all of that on the person you're living with, whether it's your family or a partner, and you're like, yeah. you blame them. Yeah. Yeah, it was wild. It was crazy. But I think in the long run, it made us a lot stronger, but it was like a difficult route to go. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it's kind of like how, I don't know if you guys are doing this, but like if you're mad at like a friend or your parent or something, and then you like go out to lunch with a friend so you can like bitch about it, and then that like clears your head, and then it's like, okay, maybe it's not a big deal, actually. Yeah. You know, yeah. like I was just you, like, like didn't have needed that. to speak about it. Yeah. 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 You didn't have that. No. So, at all. so you have to really work on that mm-hmm. communicating it to each other and not, not letting it like fester inside. Yeah. yeah. And I think there's like some level of that that's like obviously we should be working on that stuff and whatever, but I'm I want to go bitch about you to a friend. Mm-hmm. Like I'm very excited for that. I want you to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like I really am. I'm like I I think that's healthy too. Um That's how I know we're in a healthy relationship. I used to like have this idea, I think, from other relationships where they would get so mad if I vented to friends about problems, which would make me just like hold everything in and no one around me know how bad things were. So I saw that as like a, I don't want to make all my friends hate you yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, But I feel like when you have a healthy relationship... 99% 99% of the time, I'm raving about how wonderful Taryn is to everyone. I'm like, gosh, she's the fucking best, this, this, and this. So the one time if I'm like, this sucked, I feel like she's not getting it, then my friends can give me advice and be like, if anything, everyone's like, Taryn's right. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> okay. Like, I, but that that feels healthy. Like, I used to be the type that was like, don't talk about your significant other to your friends. Which yeah. I get, like, you don't want to only bitch about them. Like, share share yeah, both course. sides. But it just yeah. feels so healthy. I'm like, yeah, if we're fighting, go go tell your friends. Yeah. Well, it's kind Hopefully of like... Hopefully they tell you you were the bitch. <laughs> it's kind of like... I'm not, not anyone specifically. I'm not saying this about you. But, like, it's kind of like delusional thinking just to, like, pretend that your... Or present your relationship as perfect, oh, you d- know? Yeah, totally. And, like, also I think it even invites your friends into your relationship more and gets... Mm-hmm it's easier for like that relationship to become a part of the community at large that you're yeah. in mm-hmm. if you own up to this is like it's just life. a person that's like not perfect, you know? Mm-hmm. Totally. Because friendships are that way too, you know? 100%. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. 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 And like the problems that you have now with Taryn, like Taryn coming and poking you, it's like, I don't remember what I was going to say. Never mind. I was going to say it's just like less poke. severe. <laughs> yeah. And like that wouldn't make me be like, Fuck Taryn. Exactly. Over yeah. yeah, like I'm happy to talk about it. Like I don't want our relationship to look perfect because I'm not hiding anything. And I think like that's a dangerous thought when people are like, oh, the people who only share the perfect moments are the ones with problems. But that can be true. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm yeah. I'm thrilled to talk about that I'm like pissed off at her for poking me too many <laughs> times. Like that's so stupid. Yeah. yeah. And it's whatever. It's like, it's funny and it's life. And that's yeah. relationships. Like you're going to get mad about real stuff and stupid shit. Yeah, and for people that are... (laughs) um, For people that think that, like... I remember I used to follow couples and be, like... Are you talking about me? (laughs) No, 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 no. I used to follow couples and be, like, they would open up about them fighting, and it would be stuff like that, Mm -hmm. where I'd be, like, that's still so stupid. Like, Mm -hmm. you guys are just fighting about, what you know, her being bothered that you're talking to her while she's working. But... I think for us and what I think is great is that 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 is the pattern that we fight in Mm -hmm. is like being mad at each other for being mad. (laughs) And then that gets, that goes from poking to like actual real big big feelings. Mm -hmm. And so the fights get bigger or smaller or whatever. (laughs) Yeah. Which is much easier in this house. The last house was like a (laughs) one story circle. We like, our office was was the same office. So like if we were trying to get space, it was like shuffling past each other in the hallway. <laughs> Not it looking at so it. Awkward. It was so awkward. In this house, it's like my office is upstairs, hers is downstairs. Like we can go. We, we go like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's easier to cool down that way because it's like not having because uh, the awkward tension. I'm like, why aren't you hugging me? Like I know I asked for space, but <laughs> come talk. Not to that me. much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's too far. Yeah, and this house is much better. For humans that. aren't meant to spend like every waking moment with no. each other anyway. Totally. So. 
No, yeah. it's not healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think human, you know, we're pack creatures. So yeah. like having only one person that you see all the time cannot be healthy. Like, mm-hmm. like not that it, you, well, yeah, the well, situation yeah. is not oh, ideal. Not like, no. we are fully we are on board with that yeah. is not healthy, and we didn't want that. Like, to the point where when we were having Zoom hangs with friends, like, mm-hmm. one of us would go. And I'm so glad that to be with somebody who gets that and respects that time apart. Like, I've been in toxic relationships where it's been like, I don't understand. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, why, why am I not invited to hang out with your friends? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, and I, it's like, and it's like, I want girl time. It's like, I'm a girl. Yes. Yeah. It's like, oh, shut yeah. up. That's not what and I meant. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or exactly. it allows you that option to sort of bitch about them so when they're not there, you know? Like, yeah. yeah. To, you're like, sweetie, cover your or ears. Or not in bitch. Or like <laughs> rave over them. Or or talk about like or that really fun them. sex yeah. you had yeah. that yeah. is like you have to tell everyone about, but you don't want them yeah. to know. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It's I, healthy. I love going to the grocery store because it's like, I get to miss Cam. Like, we like come back to each other and we're like, oh, Oh, so we, we run like one area and we like to yeah. we're like, what are you doing? Yeah. And it's fun. It is fun. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. What was the like trajectory that you saw your relationship going before the pandemic? So it's like Ooh. you were in San Fran, you oh, were in LA. You. That's a good question. How long did you plan on doing like the back and forth for? Yeah. I had already wanted to move back down here. I didn't know where. Before we started dating, right? Um, yeah, before we started dating, I wanted to leave San Francisco anyways. Um, it's definitely a city that you go to for maybe five to 10 years and then you move back away from it. It's just so small. Um, so I was already wanting to come back down here and be closer to my family and my niece and that kind of stuff. So, Mm -hmm. um, we had, I think when we first started dating, it was under the impression that I would move back during 2020 at some point, probably in the summer of 2020. Yeah, it was supposed to be like mid-summer. Because I just didn't want to do an extensive long distance. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. I just wasn't about that. But it, so it was like, there was always an end in sight. But it was up in the air. It was like, oh, my lease is up midsummer. Yeah. I'll probably come move down. Like, and we started talking about like the possibility of living together. So we're not both paying rent. And like, mm-hmm. if we were ready for that. And then bam. And then bam. Wow. wow. Mm-hmm. It was a lot. How did you make that decision like, Okay, I'm just gonna go because we didn't know how long it was gonna last for. It was oh my an God, accident. two weeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was supposed to be. Yeah, two weeks. Taryn was coming down for my birthday, mm-hmm. so oh, yeah. March 11th. Now I'm 30, but for my 29th birthday, oh my God, Taryn was actually supposed to miss my birthday and come down the next day, mm-hmm. and then I think I don't know if your office had closed down. No, they didn't close at all yet. But they. Oh my God! They? There was like there was like three was weeks like where COVID was getting. Bigger. I remember and everyone that was like so vibing vividly. in the office about like Closing should we close? Should we not? Should we and people were so afraid of everyone. I remember we got all these shipments of hand sanitizer and everyone's hand sanitizing constantly, but you're in a building of three hundred people just like it's only spitting open on each other. office. <laughs> yeah. Like it was so scary. Um, and Taryn has horrible health anxiety. I was so afraid. And I remember talking to a few people on our leadership team and they're like, Taryn, it's just like the flu. Trust it's going to be okay. This is going to be okay. It's going to be two like, weeks. And if we need to close, we'll close, but just don't even worry about it. And I was like, no. So then I left. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think your boss was like, take a couple days. It's not worth you being anxious. Work from home. Yeah. And then she was like, I'm going to go down to LA. It's my girlfriend's birthday. So she came the night before my birthday. And that weekend, it was like, we're closing down Monday. The It was like the 15th, I think, of mm-hmm. March. And then she stayed for a little bit. And then it was like, kept pushing her flight because the office wasn't open yet. And mm-hmm. then eventually it was like, I'm going to go drive up to San Francisco to get all my stuff and move it down. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yeah. It's like you just had to go with the flow kind of. It was As very, we it all was, did. Yeah. yeah. If I wasn't planning on moving down here, I think it would have been a really weird situation, but it was so serendipitous. Like Perfect everything timing. just worked out. It was out. just a couple months early. It was just sped yeah. up a little bit. Okay, Siri. Siri doesn't know how to respond to that. It says, Gar- Gary Taryn is horrible health anxiety. I was so afraid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Siri. She's like, bitch, I've heard enough about your health anxiety. Stop. <laughs> I don't know how to Siri's respond like, to that. Seriously, I've been stuck with these bitches for a year and a half. Say. That's iconic, and that's a great way to answer people's answers on the podcast to their questions. I really don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> yeah, there so. you go. You can just save that little clip. And yeah. Play it. Um, so... Okay, so we're like kind of slowly coming out 
of the panty. Mm-hmm. We are. So of the panorama. Of the panorama. <laughs> so y'all gonna experience what it's like to just be a normal, a normal couple. couple. <laughs> Like it's in the world. Crazy. It I feels, feel so excited for that. We always equate it to like when people win The Bachelor and then they go into hiding for like six months and no <laughs> oh, one knows yeah, that they're really been together. Been and then they get to go to dinner and it's like this whole thing. Know, That's I'm how so, it feels. I'm excited for like Taryn to go out and meet up with friends for like drinks or dinner and then like come home. Like a little drunk. Wait, I have to like go she's, pick her up. She's excited for me to leave <laughs> for a while. Come home wasted so we can bone. No. <laughs> and then, I, didn't, I, I didn't not say that, but I, I just like, we've gone on dates. We like, I'm excited for us to go out and go experience stuff. But like, it's so fun to move to a new city and experience that. And I want to experience that with you, but I also want you to like get that for yourself too. And then, yeah, you come home a little drunk and we bone. Sure. <laughs> sure. 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 <laughs> Twist my arm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> I, um, I, I think we have been so crazy about the panty that like yeah. our life individually and as a couple is going to change so much. And I don't know how I'm going to react. And that scares me. Like, I don't know how I'm going to feel being in a new city where, yeah. like, the pre-pandemic, I was living with all my best friends in, mm-hmm. like, a city that was completely walkable. And I had my favorite <laughs> restaurants that I would just bop to. Like, it was just, my lifestyle is so different. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm excited that, like, we made a change like this together because then we'll both be exploring this area and, like, our new lives and stuff instead yeah. of me just waking up one day and being in your life. Exactly. Wicked I don't have a life here anymore either. Wicked in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> the morning. It all comes back. back. <laughs> Just when she gets get better. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, please. Beautiful. <laughs> Again. <laughs> yeah, I think also though, like, um, I think we have this idea in our heads, all of us, about like, one day over summer, it's just gonna like, open up again. Like, yeah. life's gonna go back to normal. But I really think it's gonna be like, really gradual. Yeah. We're almost probably like not even going to notice. I know. In a way. I think we're going you know like, mean? wake up and realize. Wake up, wake in, up the in the morning. morning. <laughs> <laughs> think about think about so many things. <laughs> and then we're going to be like, oh, oh my It got God. better. It got we're back. Better. Yeah. 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 I think so too. Yeah. Yeah. Like we'll probably like three months from now like Maybe like <gasps> take the risk and go to an indoor dining situation, and oh then like God. maybe we'll feel uncomfortable and not do that again <laughs> we'll for like six weeks, you know, and yeah, then like yeah. maybe do it again. You know, I think it's gonna be really gradual. Yeah, I want to yeah. have a, a vaxxed potty. Me oh, too. I you should yes, too. A hundred percent. Like I told I you, vaxxed. we should all be color coordinated with our oh my God. vaccine. Yeah. Oh yes. my God, a theme party mm-hmm. would be so fun. Like a real theme that we can all like mm-hmm. dress like up. what? Five would, girls. I would love a theme party. Madonna I have, girls. I just Moderna. Oh, things. we'll we'll dress in <gasps> like, Pfizer v. in like really modern clothing. You know, like oh. real oh. like avant-garde. Oh. What's, what's oh. Pfizer's we could, we could have our own like <laughs> Met Gala, but themed by the vaccines. Oh my God. Vax Gala. <laughs> Pfizer would be like Virus. 70s pop art, I think. You think? Yeah. Ooh. I don't oh. want to think that because we're Pfizer. Pfizer. You all wear visors. Ooh. It's like it's like oh, it's I like tennis that. realness. The or visor. Yeah. I do like that. Cute. Yeah. And then Johnson and Johnson is like twins. You come with your twin, oh, right? Cute. Cute. I don't know anyone who got Johnson and Johnson. Yeah. Um, but I bet a yeah, lot. I of know will. my sister in law did. Oh yeah, that's the only shout out to you, go <laughs> Jana. Find your twin and bring them on down. Yeah, yeah, cute. I love it. I want to potty, you guys. Me too. Like, I want to so potty badly. hard. Me too. Like yeah. I want to throw up. <laughs> you want to throw up? <laughs> but like, you know, I want but someone in, like, to like. A cool I want to throw up, and then someone will be like, "Oh my god!" And then I'll be like, ah! like not like throwing up where I'm like incapacitated, but yeah. just like accidentally and be like, oh "Like my you take god. a shot." Yeah, and, and you're it's like. like ah! The, yeah, because I, I haven't done it in so long. That's that it's yeah, just like, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, do you, are you guys want to? Are you guys gonna want to party? Because yeah. now you're like homeowners. You're like gonna have a baby. <laughs> I answered very quickly. Yeah, as you were gonna talking about partying. So I don't know. I've had a lot. I think the last year before the panty hit, mm. I pre-pan. I was like. <laughs> I don't know. I just started getting really anxious going out and like drinking. And I've had this whole past year and a half to kind of think about what I like. So I think it's I, I it's going to be like a rebirth of who Cammie is when she parties. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that entails. Like, there might be a lot of, like, DD in my future. There might be a lot of, like... Cute. Oh, DD. Who's DD? Like, Dungeons and Who Dragons? Who is DD? Oh, my God. <laughs> there <laughs> might be a lot of d d <laughs> in our future, actually. I think our definitions... Our de- definition of partying is really different, too. Like, when you would party, you would, like, party. That is not... <laughs> True. That's true. That's true. Terrence so because yeah, I've done so poppers that I like am crazy. <laughs> she was okay. Well, who Papa has? Have you never head. done? Poppers? No, I don't do anything she other than drink all alcohol. Over my dining table, and she went like this. <laughs> I said, "Don't waste some Zamboni." <laughs> See, that's a cam that I don't know. Babe, I'm just fun. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> what I'm Grow trying up. to say is, <laughs> going out to me is not like. I'm not, like, going to clubs and, like— Me either. The biggest club we went to is Flaming Saddles, which is gone. We didn't go to clubs. You're lying. Flaming is a big club. That's that, a club. That's yeah. a club. <laughs> but even now, I'm making a big club. It's literally but, two stories with strippers. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, but that doesn't okay. even feel like a club to me. So. Yeah, see, like, I what am more going to be about dinners what and bars. Are you thinking, like, One Oak? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. we're that, not built I'm for that. Built that's yeah. that's what I think, like, that. previous Cammy was like. In my head, I'm, like, uh, I'm she picturing thinks I was, like, a, a clubber. Girl. Have you ever been to One in, Oak? In, like, a mini skirt and, like, I don't know. <laughs> I've seen you in a mini Like doing coke in the bathroom or something. Like she has a skewed idea of who I was. I was I, popper queen at Flaming Saddles <laughs> doing an Irish goodbye by midnight. That was party camp. Yeah. She's not that crazy as we much all as we wish that. she was. We all did we that. We all did that. Like yeah. it would That's be fair. like, let's all go. And I feel like by the end of our time, um, like partying, we would like, no one would trust anyone would stay so like it would be like let's all go and then it would never Buddy's happen yeah. i'm ready for pre-games again that's, oh that's the yeah. kind of party i want to go to house part like they're they're better when we can really you guys like, can come get drunk here that's what i was gonna say my version I of partying is a really fun house party that's the kind of party or I like. like a dinner party where we get too drunk and like talk about politics guys that's what i want to party guys also like a clue game or something. <gasps> We've been playing so much Clue lately. See, that's what like, I that want. I want like a murder Colonel mystery exactly. dinner, <gasps> dinner party and exactly. like the murderer gets wasted and yeah. is passed out and actually murder yeah. someone. Or like or like a competition <laughs> oh. like serve like Big Brother. Yes. 100%. Yes. Like like I have big plans for this on. house. Okay, great. <laughs> That's when are you moving in? <laughs> I want that for you. And I want when that for us. When are you becoming us. Frank's Frank's nanny? Is what I really wanted. To know. I Frank. literally he was sitting there just looking at me and I kept saying, I love you. <laughs> he has been staring at you this whole I time. I love him. He's happy. I love that's, him. Yeah, that's the kind of partying I would like to be doing. <laughs> yeah, that sounds great. Yeah. Okay, perfect. I'm, down. I'm okay. also happy to like bump I'm excited to bump oh. into people with oh. you. <laughs> I'm excited to bone. It always comes back to basing and boning. I hate that term. No, I'm excited to like bump into friends with you and be like out and be like, oh my God. And Mm -hmm. then be like, you guys want to go get a drink? Mm -hmm. And then it's like Mm -hmm. a thing and it just keeps like building. Oh, I love that. That's so fun. Can't wait. For sure. Mm-hmm. We'll party. <gasps> I want to party brunch. Yeah, so bad. Catch me at brunch and then in bed by 6 p.m. Oh, that's perfect. I love that. That's the perfect day. Yeah. I want to go to like candy pop right now like oh, so bad oh or like my god gay astrology I would, it's over die I know that. Oh. it's all over and it's flaming's done. over what's <laughs> over depressing satellite no, it's over. No, it's over. Satellite's over. That's what I'm saying is over. Yeah. No. Did you know? So what's oh. next? What oh, do we you ha- said what's over. I was no, like, what do we have? Well, I think that they're going to open like even better stuff that we couldn't even imagine. Candy Pop is not dead. I think Satellite is, but they'll find a new venue here maybe. <laughs> oh my else. God. <laughs> Could you imagine we reinvigorate Candy Pop here? We You'd honestly like could. Devastated. Rebecca Black like, DJing I want in the corner. All these people out. <laughs> That'd be sick. That would be great. That would be sick. Cute. They're going to open... Like, I mean, it's going to be a big cash grab. Oh, oh my God. The We're covers, gonna like the, it's going to be like $100 cover. And I will no. say, okay. Yeah. I would probably pay $250. If, for us both. Or, for us both. Okay. Well. If it was first party back. Mm-hmm. Okay. It Guaranteed was safe. everyone's vaccinated. Yeah. Uh-huh. And... Out. And free drinks <laughs> when I get so scared. and ball service. Well, that would be more. Nah. Good alcohol. If I, I knew that it was going to be good alcohol in there, nah. I would do it. You don't need I'll it. I'll bring a flask. Yeah, literally. All right. As long as I know it's like candy pop music. And how about I know that it's not going to be overcrowded. Like if it yeah. were like, there's a max. If there was a nice yes. max. I know I want to crowd it. You do? And yes. no one I hate's there. No drama. 
No one I hate or any of my friends hate. Yeah. Right. You get to control the they guest They can't list. afford it. <laughs> 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 it's literally just going to be you guys in there. <laughs> I mean, pay for you guys. You drop like a thousand dollars. Down. That's ideal. That is ideal. Oh, that is so fun. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait for <laughs> what? life. I'm going to have a potty like next month. You should. No, and I will. I want to have yeah. a nice... Um, Housewarming. A housewarming party yeah. where like mm-hmm. everyone either dresses up Ooh. and it's like a real nice thing oh or we gosh. do something Or it dresses yeah. like a slut. Yes. <laughs> like a slut. Like a dresses slut. like a slut. Taryn wants to do a party where every, like she saw this one, one thing on TikTok where everyone was a different <laughs> Joe? Of Joe. A different type of Joe. Did you guys do Joe, that? Like, like Joe. Cotton Eye Joe, oh, Joe Biden. And, yes. Oh. And, I, uh, I and Lady even... Gaga. Did you see that one where they were all no. the different Lady Gaga eras? Yes. Oh, see, that's great. And they're like, great. I'm passing the phone to... Or yes. oh, they played, I'm passing yeah, the phone to the... What? How does it work? Yeah. There's going to be so Either, many of those takeoffs. But it was, the drunkest one. Yeah, is, the one that's the, the one the that's going to be the drunkest is going to be Art Pop Gaga. And then Art Pop Gaga would get it and be like, I don't know. It's yeah. I think best. that was fun. That's I what want I want. That. I want like like I'd love to have like a Bob party, and you come as famous Bobs. I'm Ross, be where are Bob? See? Bob the Builder. Bob Ross. Bob the Builder. Yes. Bob. Edna Mode. What? what? Edna Mode. Oh, <laughs> that's great. What? Edna Mode's Bob. Yeah, she's and that Bob. could be you. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I get it. Barbara Streisand. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Bobby Burke. Bobby Bobby Flay. Who is that? See? Bobby Flay. The, Flay. Cook. the cook. Flay. That's so fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bob. I can be Bobby Flay. Anyway. Yeah. There's like four Bobs. I, there's got to be more. <laughs> it's like, it's <laughs> like 70 Bob the Builders and one Bob Ross. <laughs> no, it's you like have to submit to Robert? the spreadsheet so there's no Robert. Robert. Uh, Robert. Yeah. Who's so Robert? Bob Pattinson. Robert Kardashian. <laughs> Robert <Ooh. Kardashian. laughs> <laughs> A famous Rob Bob party. Bob. That would be really funny. Yeah, that's yeah. the kind of partying I want. Uh... And we're gonna. We are gonna. We're so close. Like, making me ill. In, a, in the best way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Jack's <laughs> ready to throw up. up. He's I'm, pumped. I'm, do it. I think also. Do it. I can't no, I hated it. that. And it could even be like semi. Like, this is a great outdoor area. You could even do like an outdoor party if you're feeling scared at the beginning. You oh, know? 100%. Yeah. 100%. Well, you told me that we don't have anything to be scared of if we're all vaccinated. Is that uh, you true? Know, well, I know, but we might knows. also feel like scared to do it you know yeah, yeah it exactly. depending on yeah, how many people are enough. there too you know like having like if there are 15 people you might be like i'm scared you but, know what I mean? but fauci said do it didn't he i don't know we'll have to look at i guess yeah you can hang indoors back. with other vaccinated people um, i want a few more people to do it first and see what happens before i feel comfy <laughs> <laughs> well this a, a girl that i know from high school invited me over to their ha- invited us over to their house last weekend. She's like, hey, if you guys are vaccinated, like totally come through. Obviously, we didn't go. Um, but then I saw pictures of it and I was so anxious. Like It was a big party. It was a big party. And like, obviously, they were all vaccinated. All they vaccinated. And said, we can only come if we're vaccinated. But, but just thinking about being in that room with that many people, I was like, that yeah. is so scary to me. That's I'm what I'm saying. saying. I, so I get it's hard to even imagine stepping foot into it's just an, an indoor situation where there's yeah. like over 10 people. Yeah. 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 I'm so excited you know? yet scared to go to a concert again. Like sweating oh. on strangers. Yeah. Singing. Oh my God. Everyone's like, yeah. Spitting. It's just like. Oh my God. Yeah. Everyone's spitting Ugh. when you're singing. Yeah. It's so mm. true. Yeah. Oh my God. The, the droplets. Spook. I'm never going to stop thinking about how many droplets. Oh my God. Uh, All the are. little like reenactments of the sneezing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really exactly sure what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, reenactments but. of this. <laughs> well, when they, like in the beginning of COVID, they would show a sneeze and how oh, far and it all oh. goes. And then if that person was masked, how far it could go. Yeah. And then if you were masked too. Yeah. The droplets, guys. I have nightmares of the reenactments. It was like a lifetime special. Come on. She's acting like it's like those war reenactments. Yeah. Of like hundreds That's of what people. That's it felt like. Yeah. They're cute. It's That's scary. Funny. Yeah. We really do have PTSD and we're going to have it for a while. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. will. I can't wait to tell my grandkids about this and like they're going to not really make all. it more <laughs> dramatic. They're like if they're like, there. mom, grandma, I'm bored. I'm going to be like, you're bored. Yeah. <laughs> I spent a year and a half <laughs> in that. <laughs> well, this yeah, happens so every true. 50 years. So we're going to have it again. That's Probably. such a bummer. Yeah. Probably. But uh, hopefully then they'll like, have do a better it. handle on yeah, it. Yeah, do it like how Australia did it. Australia, we won't. <laughs> like abnormal for like maybe a month. And yeah. they've just been, they don't understand what we've been through. No. No. I know I've been seeing gays 
go dance to Dua Lipa during gay pride in the <sighs> clubs indoor. And yeah. I'm just like, no, they have dumbfounded. Mardi Gras just now. It does feel, it feels like illegal. Yeah. I mean, it I guess it is here, but still. It feels like a slap in the face. Yeah. yeah. When are the bars going to open again? If everyone is eligible May 5th. Well, the bars are open. Like out, but you mean indoor sort of? No, um, is it indoor dining open every, right now? No. Every no. bar is In Palm open? Springs it is. No way. I think indoor dining. Yeah, we went to indoor Palm Springs recently open, and people were yeah. eating inside, no masks. So scary. It was so scary. So scary. Yeah, and dining. you don't even have to be, you don't even have to carry your card. No. That's bizarre. I wish we all got like, I voted stickers, but for the vaccine. <laughs> yeah. So it's you like, you know who's who. That. Yeah. Like you could fake it. Yeah, yeah, true, true. So I want like a license, like yeah. with my picture on it. Me that too. says vaxxed. And I want yeah. there to be like vaxxed only clubs. Yeah. Like, oh, that would be sure. really cool. That and then cute. it'll just make everyone want to get vaxxed too. It's yeah, don't be you ultimately... think that they're gonna do that? Oh I my think God, they imagine. just want business at this point. Yeah. Like they have been out of business for so fucking long. Wow. <laughs> and it's like less worrisome because it's like, well, if you're not vaccinated, but we all are. It's okay. Like, yeah. if you go somewhere and someone's like, I'm not going to get the vaccine, it's like, well, then you might get sick, but we aren't going to get sick from yeah, you because we're yeah, vaccinated. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I think that's less of a concern. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Might get you sick. Yeah. It's like, if that's. It always turns to vax talk. Always. It's, always, it's crazy. Well, what it else does. is on our mind? I know. Really? That's I can't wait to mind. not talk about this stuff. Same. To be honest. Like, I'm so excited for the day where we're like, oh, yeah, that thing. Guys, yeah. today, actually, or maybe it was yesterday is my first day that I'm eligible to hang out with vaccinated people. Like I'm <gasps> fully, fully kicked oh my in. God. Two Lucky. weeks post my second vax. Do you oh feel different? Gosh. Wait, you got Moderna? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I don't feel different yet because I haven't done, I haven't used my power yeah. mm-hmm. yet. Because <laughs> I feel like I was one of the earlier people to get it. Yeah, yeah you were. But... I instantly feel safer around you knowing that though. I know. <laughs> Go ahead, cease. Give me your droplets. No, no, you're not protected yet. I don't want I the I could droplets. still give it maybe. Yeah. We still don't know about that. Like the percentage must be just so so low. Mm-hmm. Oh, but you, I'll sorry. hang out with you. I'll it's kiss literally you. like Twilight. <laughs> how Edward can hurt Bella, mm. but Bella, Bella can't, can't hurt Edward. Edward. <laughs> you know? That's you so guys true. Team Edward or Team Jacob? We spoke. Yeah, about we just this last talked about time. this. Ugh, I was way more Team Edward. Me too. Ooh, I was random. a Jacob girl. Me too. Jacob. But watching back, I'm so grossed out by them both. Yeah. yeah. Um, God. What's the funny thing he says? <laughs> when he pulls up. Did you guys Bella. recently watch it? Frank. <laughs> yeah, I did recently watch it. Hola, chica. Wait, yeah. What, is, what does like Jacob that. say? Bring on me. Oh, Franklin. Frankie. Oh, no. Oh. Frank. He does love me, doesn't he? he? Yeah. Does. Great to the badge. <laughs> there you go. Hi, babe. Oh. Oh. Hi, honey, Frankie. Bunny. You happy, babe. He Big knows to be gentle with me and it's so cute. Oh, yeah. He's like, she does not like when I go crazy. Oh, that's very sweet. So you watched it. What did Jacob say? That was so funny. Doesn't he say like it's like on Hola, TikTok, Chica. yeah, or something? <laughs> where, you, where where have and you that- been, Chica, or something <laughs> like? Says, it's so random. He says something. Oh oh, it's like uh uh. S- S- goofy Chica or something. It's so bizarre. <laughs> I feel like we're getting further and further from <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. what it it's was. It's not it. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, anyway. was it her last name? What was her last name? Swan. Thorn. <laughs> not Thorn. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's funny, Frank. Frank. I oh thought her name God. was Bella Thorne. That's a person. Wrong Bella. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, Frank. Frank is staring at me. What? He's in the frame now. Anyway. Are you going to get married? Whoa. Yeah, we'll get married. Yeah. We'll do that. <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I feel like so many people are going to get married next year. Like yes. everyone is pushed yeah. back. Yes. So everyone last year whose weddings got postponed mm-hmm. are this year. And then I feel like a lot of people either broke up. Oh my God. <laughs> people either broke up or are like ready to get married. Yeah. Yeah. So there are going to be so many weddings over the next two years. So I don't know where we fall in that. However, I feel like if you got an invite to our wedding versus someone else's, you would choose ours every time. Oh my God, babe. <laughs> Wouldn't you? Yeah. I guess it depends. Oh my, oh, my God. Think of anyone else whose wedding you'd rather go wow. to. Wait, no, no. That this is the amazing. party of the century. Yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. yeah. Vaccinated Wait. only. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would well, be a great way to weed out, like, Republicans. <laughs> <laughs> well, then no one on my side is coming. <laughs> oh, my God. That's not true. But oh I'm God. sure a lot of people wouldn't go. 
Because they're anti-vax? I, I also, I think there's a healthy fear of the vaccine that I, I, I Yeah, I understand. get some people being like, this is new. It's a no freaking oh, all. Do something to say. to say. He's like, no, He's like, go we're going to hear little sniff sniffs. Oh, I can't wait. That is so cute. That's very sweet. Oh, wait, oh. why is he oh. so cute right now? I know. <laughs> What do you mean right now? He's just being he's extra, always like, so cute. snuggly, don't you think? This is what he's like he, all the time. Yeah. Look at him. Are you joking? <laughs> Frank, sing it. Cut him in the morning. Think about him. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! 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 Um, but yeah, we'll get married probably, if I had to guess, we'll get engaged this next year. <laughs> She wanted me to propose, so I love her being like, "Wait, really?" Which I will, but her being what? like, "If I had to guess, when Cam you will propose?" Yeah. Why? Why do you want Cam to propose? Yeah. I just oh want yeah, it. that's some hot goss there. Yeah, I just want it. You want to be? I want to be proposed to. to. Okay. I think that maybe it's a complex somewhere in there, but I want to feel like I. One, Womanly. I want the moment. Yeah. Two, I don't want to, I don't like the idea that like who's ever the more femme person in the relationship just gets the other one assumes the position of like the traditional right. guy. I don't like that feeling. So I would rather, yeah, I just want it. I'll propose I, back, obviously, but I don't want to feel like just because I wear a hockey jersey of some team I don't know that like I don't that I don't you don't you're not going to get down on one knee and be like marry me like right. I have to ask you mm -hmm. I just I don't know just wouldn't that be so scary I, I just can't imagine like going down on one knee and asking someone to marry me I think I'd be shaking so hot oh for sure even though like I'm obviously gonna know she's gonna say yes yes Oh. It's not about that. But like, yeah, it's we'll see. It's a vulnerable so moment. nervous. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> well, I also have like Watch a bad turn knee. it down. I do this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> no. Dude, I would be pissed. <laughs> that would Yeah. Suck. I'm yeah. not I rightly so. Like, I, won't. I would be fuming. That would be really wrong. Would yeah, so I was about to ask in gay and lesbian relationships, yeah, what do we think about that? Is it a two proposal <laughs> moment? Is that what we think is better you so you can both propose. I think it it's very case time. by case. <laughs> you know, like there are some people who are in a queer relationship, but it's like, they just have that dynamic that one person's going to propose. Yeah. But like, I don't even necessarily need propose to. Like, I know Taryn wants like a, like a big thing and I want to <laughs> do that for her, but I would be down with like us sitting on the couch and her asking right. me. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's the that's the which plan. is why I think it makes more sense for me to propose first because it'll be like a big to do, and then like I just want her to like say it back in a fun reaffirm, way. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, I don't know. It's so weird because even in gay or just queer relationships in general, there's still some like heteronormative structure oh, yeah. that like yeah. we even place on ourselves because it's just what you see everywhere. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I, I mean, so even just say. the idea of one person proposing to the other, I think, is heteronormative in itself. Like, what, shouldn't it be a joint decision? Yeah. Yeah. Or one person wearing an engagement ring. Like, I remember someone I knew was like, I will wear an engagement ring only if my boyfriend wears one too. Why, as a woman, should I have to, like, be, be claimed, claimed when yeah. you mm -hmm. walk around not Right, claimed. you're a bachelor, yeah. Yeah. I didn't really want to wear one. Oh, it's really Fine, I don't have my ring. Get me a big ass rock. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I feel that, that same way sort of about when, like, hearing straight couples when they're like, I'm going to make sure that I ask your dad for your hand or whatever. I'm mm. like... You don't need his permission. Yeah, you don't need his permission, firstly. Like, I'm not, to ask that, me. Though. But also <laughs> ask my <laughs> mom. Like, yeah, to, yeah. You know, I wouldn't want you to yeah. just, like, ask my dad. Like, ask my mom. Ask my sister or best friend. You know, like, ask all me. of... And ask me. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's, that's a weird... There's these weird, like, <laughs> exchanging of ownership yeah. vibes. Yeah, sure. <laughs> ask each other. I'll you make different. him ask... I'll have, like, a list. So you have to pass all of these roadblocks. <laughs> well, it's, it's like Harry Potter. Potter it has to be unanimous. It's like, like a jury, <laughs> you know? <laughs> a unanimous that's decision. Kind of, yeah. That's kind of good, though. Yeah, you should you want should unanimous. You should have a jury. Yeah. yeah. You should set up, like, an anonymous, like, feedback box. Ooh. Have a party and be like... I really want to ask Terry mm. to marry me. If anyone has objections, no, no. I don't even think it should be anonymous. I think it should be a court case. Yeah. You bring 
your you bring your case. The other person brings their case. You have got so the defendant to play the who is the defendant? Yeah, who is against this union? I think you hire someone. Oh. It's a new business. Oh my god! So you the, that person says. So what if this situation happens where it's a like fight the city. would be? What? How would you handle it? Yeah. You know. Cute. Oh I my like god! That. I love that. It's also weird that the yeah Frank. Okay. It's weird that you like a lot of times like the dad walks. The, fee- the woman down the aisle and then gives the daughter away. Gives the daughter away. Mm-hmm. It's like, hi, I, I'm like selling you my daughter. <laughs> like that is really weird to me. Yeah. But I also do want my dad to walk me down the aisle. I was going to say know? that does not bother me at all. The tradition and the root of it is very bizarre. To be like, here, take care of her feels bizarre to me, but I also want it. But, okay. One more thing though. I'm just thinking now. Thinking about like so many my things. My dad wouldn't walk me down the aisle. Why? Like, he could. He could. Why not? They, they I do. think I would want both of them, arm in arm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Link that, and Link. That's, do that. that's normal too. Yeah. 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 No, normally the groom walks down with the mom, right? With his no, mom. No, normally right? his mom? I yes. Don't know. Or, or the groom walks down by themselves before anyone else oh, yes. goes. Oh, and oh, then the mom the and the altar. dad come together. Right. Then the dad goes back. It's so, co- like, there's so many things with weddings. See, but I have some weird thing where I feel like I don't identify with, like, being queer. Super, I don't really. Yeah. Like, in my head, I'm straight. I, like, feel that. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, Taryn wants, like, all the normal. I, sh- like, yeah. do you want me to wear a suit? <gasps> no. Wait, that's hot. You look hot in a dress. I mean, you do look hot in dresses. You'd look hot in a suit too, but I want to see your back. A backless suit. Backless <laughs> pants suit. Guys, I, I could work with this. Um, but what I was saying is like, I feel like when, when you become queer, you're, it's like expected that you... Don't subscribe to Don't subscribe. Like you you just do everything different. Mm -hmm. But Mm -hmm. I want to do everything the same, basically. (laughs) It's just I want to marry you. And then I'm like, don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe you'll have to have two two weddings, maybe. (laughs) Because like like different. You don't want it so different than what I want. Well, our our hot topic one is this brings us back to us getting together. I don't actually want bridesmaids. (laughs) Unless it can just be (laughs) Taryn. Which is... That is not even a for question for what? me. Well, it doesn't... You don't have to have bridesmaids, but Taryn can have, like, her whole gaggle of girls. That just seems crazy. I'm going to have, like, 15 people standing up next and to me, have and she'll no have no one. one. But we're all going to be in the in the the seating area yeah, cheering. Gonna, yeah. Like, what's the difference? Mm, I don't want it because I think it puts <laughs> pressure gonna be, on your friends. And it's going to be... Oh. The whole bridesmaid squad is just going to be completely drunk and not able to stand anyway. So, like, why expect that? True, we are having mimosas while we get ready. Yeah. So, I don't expect you guys to even make it to the ceremony. Well, you I don't, don't want to, like, get in- married... I mean, get ready by yourself. That'll be kind of no, sad. I want, no, I want that. But I don't want, like... She doesn't want them standing next to her during the ceremony. Okay. Yeah, it's like, I just want it to be, like, us. Intimate. She thinks that it's an ask of people. But it what is. you don't realize is when people love you, it's an honor. It is not an ask. I've it's like in, I, I've been in weddings and I find it to be an honor, but it's like, I just think it's like, buy this, do that. It's like, I don't want anyone spending, like, I'm not going to make my bridesmaids pay for anything. That feels crazy to me. What about all your bridesmaids wearing the same dress? I hate that. Hate Take that. that. I love hate a that. different dress. Or like wear yeah. whatever you feel good in. I like you're not there. You're not my accessory. <laughs> I completely agree. You're not there to I make me look agree. good. Like yes, I want are. if if I'm having ten people Should stand up here with me, I want y'all to feel the hottest you have ever yeah. felt. Mm-hmm. But you can feel hot in a thing that is in our color scheme. Yeah, you just say like wear something black. Yeah, whether it be dress as long suit, as it's super simple want. and not like I don't know. I also hate matching. They're like, not going to be that. I, I don't want me matching, too. especially it's, because I'm going to have guys and girls up there mm. that like I'm not. I don't want everybody in the same thing. And then the guys in like little matching suits, like mm-hmm. that feels weird. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be a vibe. Perhaps a few colors that they can choose from. I might say colors that you can't wear, like just <laughs> neutrals or like everyone do a monochromatic moment. Mm-hmm. <gasps> so she's fun. Grayscale, grayscale. Well, grayscale, I, I know I have to. Oh, you have to. But I, there's Get not, ready, there's going to have to be like a big <laughs> compromise of what that looks like. That's Do you want to have fun. the same amount on either side? I don't care, but I'm no <laughs> shit. Yes. No, I don't care for the same amount. It's just I will have a lot. So a lot. if that's up to you, if you want to have 
Less. Less than. And Optically, then I look if like that's a loser. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Weddings are weird. Uh, they're so, it, they're weird. so weird. It's, it's, weird. So it's so like a. It's like a power trip or something. It's yeah. not a power trip. It's it's like a, it's a ceremony. Sarah, it's a ritual. <laughs> it's, well, it's bizarre. Yeah. It's, it's bizarre. like a cult. I don't it, think I want one now that we're talking about it. It's oh, weird. really? There are few I'd rather things I'm more party. excited about in life. Well, uh, that's what I'm that seeing. That is it what, as. It is. I'm throwing that is a what it is. Well, I'd rather throw a party without all the stuff before. Yeah, Start okay. the party, end the party. Oh, I don't like we're a here wedding to shower. Grosses me out. What's oh, a wedding shower? Oh my god, no. you are in for the rudest awakening. But bachelor party? That's happening. We're going. Crazy. Yeah, Spend all the money that you would be doing. Don't have- she wants them. She just doesn't want them standing up there. You're going to have bridesmaids. Okay. I'm going to have bridesmaids. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's like, but it's going to be like, hey, guys, I, I don't organize me a party like that. It feels so rude to me to be like, hey, guys, I'm getting married. So you have to order. You have to plan this, 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 and this <laughs> for me and spend all your money on it. I'm going to be like, hey, guys, I got us an Airbnb for the weekend. Come, we're celebrating. I don't know. I think there is something fun about being surprised and like yeah. good things for you. But yeah, I think you, if you feel weird about it, you could say, bad. you could say, hey, take organizing. this little sum of money I saved for this, or like my parents <gasps> or whatever. Are I giving, like that. Do, like let's use this and have that's a ball. Cute, but I want to be surprised. You know? like but then that. imagine then you so saved for it, to do it, and then they book but something fun. that you hate, and then you're like, this is what you said. Your friend should know you. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I just don't want to. I don't. I. I have like an issue with being a burden, I think. That this is maybe the, thing. the thing. And to me, I know that when I ask my people if they want to be my bridesmaids or my groomsmen or whatever, they're going to be like, yes, yes, yes. We get to celebrate you and your love and the love that <gasps> it's going to bring us. Maybe we organize each other's stuff. Like I'll organize your bachelor party. We got a whole ass party. wedding to do. Oh. Yeah. You don't yeah. want to organize no. all these extra. That's no. why you have. I'm a control freak. Of course I want to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny is we'll probably be on this podcast again when we're engaged and talking about like when we're actually doing our wedding. Pray. Oh, I'm gonna end up like and pray. save this clip yeah. and then I'm gonna be a crazy bridezilla being <laughs> yeah. like everyone in Periwinkle right now. Yeah. <laughs> Amy ordered that as the wrong shade. Harry Winkle. Oh my god. Cute. Oh my god. That is so fun. Well, what? I can't wait. Okay, I don't know if this is something that you're willing to say. Oh, but we it. asked. Elle Mills, how much money she spent on her birthday party. <laughs> how much money on a wedding do you anticipate? It? Have you been watching Marriage or Mortgage? It's all we can talk about. No, but it's on Netflix. Suddenly, it's I'm very interested. Amazing. In that. They spend so little on they their weddings, sp- so. though. Like, to me, it's not a little amount. It's like always 20 to 30, maybe 35 grand. That seems like a lot. But no, it, that's a little for but a But it is a party. little for a wedding and what you can get. Yeah. So it is actually terrifying me the amount. Like every time I'm like, oh, we'll probably have like. 50 to 100 people and Taryn's like we're gonna have like 250 to 300 people do you know my parents and that's making me anxious I also don't like crowds <laughs> oh my god yeah we'll like be lifting you <laughs> but isn't it customary for the for the parents to pay anyway so it's like not your problem yeah uh, it's customary for the bride's parents to pay for perfect. the so you have thing. double but I think so you're the bride I'm the girl <laughs> <laughs> oh right my oh. parents al- already say that they will pay for our wedding. I don't know. Like, that also that's, makes me that extremely uncomfortable. I, I don't know if they're, what they're expecting. We haven't sat down and talked about it, We've but I know that they will be, <laughs> that they'll be giving us something for the wedding. We're going to have a little 10 person shindig in this backyard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's also that's, fun. I think cute. That that's cute. cute. I'm not going for cute. <laughs> oh, what are we going <laughs> for? We're going for like it's city a party shutdown. with everybody that I love. Yeah, and she's wa- going for like mayor escorting you. Oh, 100%. oh my god, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah. Hmm. So they didn't. Whatever my bride wants, no my bride will get. <laughs> um, number wise, I don't know what that means. Maybe no, I don't even know. I can. <laughs> I was, no, never mind. <laughs> no. no, I'm curious. No. Me too. I don't Me even too. know I what a wedding would, costs, yeah. but I'm sure it's going to be something that makes me very uncomfortable. The yeah. amount well, of it, like it just going away in a day. It could be like a down payment on a house, yeah. maybe, depending on how That's much you what spend. Marriage or so. mortgages. They yeah. pick down payment on house or wedding. And I'm like, yeah. always how? Down payment. Always always. A lot always. of them pick wedding. Which Most we of them did pick start wedding. to kind of understand, but <laughs> we'll, get, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> it's crazy. Always good. House fast. House I first. know yeah. that somebody was ma- w- a friend of mine was planning their wedding and they spent twenty five k and it was like it was like 
pinching pennies yeah. to get a wedding that they love for that price. Weddings are too expensive. Why does it cost $6,000 to rent a like hall to have it at? It's like, that's a building. <laughs> I'll pay your utility fees for the month and it won't even be that much. Like people are being <laughs> robbed because yeah. it's a wedding. Like I can buy they can. a bouquet of flowers any other day, 50 bucks on your wedding day, 500. Yeah. Oh my what? God. Yeah. I and I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> In my head... A wedding is like a hundred grand. Oh, probably. Yeah. I, honestly, like maybe more. Yeah. No. Which is like, I'm thinking in the realm of like at least 75, I would imagine. Yeah. It's like, that's what I think too. I'm in it's pain. Because like, we could buy if a you pay, birthday party. If you pay for, it's a, at least a hundred dollars a person, which yeah. is a, sit a down. small for a sit down. And then if you have th- 200 open bar. people, open bar. Yeah. Vegan options. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> See, if we like do no vegan, zones. then maybe we could make it cheaper for you. <laughs> <laughs> or do oh. no meat. Ooh. Ooh that Vegan's would be more way expensive. Way cheaper. Way. Mm-mm. Yeah, Chickpeas. way cheaper. <laughs> yeah, literally. Hummus. So what we're saying is if there's and any carrots. sponsors out there who would like to pay for it. Oh, wedding. yeah. I'm sure you'd be on wedding. But that would be so annoying to have to like work your what? Yeah, that's not fun. <laughs> a family vlog channel? Yeah, family v- vlog channel. You're going to have all of the like vlogs of, you know, trying on the dresses. You can I'm do, actually like, really excited for that. I've been on wedding TikTok for a while now. Yeah. And like even some people who low-key like kind of annoy me, I'm obsessed with their content of yeah. like every the little baby. detail they're talking about. Like they... There's this one girl. She's amazing. She talks about like every outfit ever, like what she's going to wear the morning of. She has like eight outfit options. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What she wore like every day, she changed eight times on her um, eight bachelorette times. party. Like, That's just like you're spending the whole night in the dressing girl, room. Girl, wear a pair <laughs> yeah. of jeans. I Let's know. Go. It was amazing <laughs> content and it was so fun that I was like, God, am I going to turn into this? Are you guys going to have like a destination where we all stay and then we all have like the breakfast the next morning? The I would love breakfast? that. Well, that's fun. That's, that's, that 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 that's a worthy Investment. wedding cause. Yeah. I don't want to yeah. do a destination wedding, but I definitely want to do like it'll a... It'll be here. It'll be probably Southern California. <gasps> like or, I kind of want to do Palm Springs or something. I feel like that's a good spot. <laughs> Too hot. That's amazing. Malibu Napa. For Napa. Bay, Napa. They have like a beautiful... Oh, lounge. I found it uh, on... A uh, bride TikTok. I found another winery in Malibu that's like lesser known that is stunning. Cute. Uh, <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Question what? alert. Mm-hmm. So, so, so. Um, last names. But yeah, my name is, it's too much of a mouthful to hyphenate unless I get rid of my middle name because I can't be Camden, Mary Elise, Scott, Arnold, or Arnold Scott. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's too long. But I don't know. I have this weird attachment to my middle name because it's just so stupid and weird like more than your last name no i don't know i don't know i don't i don't want to be camden arnold scott and that's it like i i don't i want a middle name so i don't know well you could it's, make your middle name scott. exactly that's what my mom did that's yeah. what my mom her did. maiden what name Kardashian is her did. middle name now yeah but i so also think it'd be cool to like pick a new last name <laughs> camden scott arnold i think picking a new last name is at the bottom of my list of what i would <laughs> Me like too. yeah just because it's it doesn't make sense it's, i know it doesn't make sense but it makes sense but it doesn't in theory but not in practice yeah right yeah you know and we can't keep our own names because i want our kids to have uh, like they already are going to then who's neither be right. not one Pick of ours but like biologically it's not going to be both of our kids so I want us all to have the same last name mm-hmm. I want Arnold Scott Arnold Scott I think is I the, think it sounds so strong. strong it sounds really regal it it sounds like that's a cool kid and you know what I, don't know. I like it keep your middle name who cares if it's long because you're rarely ever yeah. saying it. Like, yeah. 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 yeah like taxes to like I think and it you never just keep fits it. in all the boxes yeah. and just gets confusing. Camden, but I also, Mary Elise, Arnold Scott is like that's kind of, like kind of iconic. Yeah. yeah. But it's the intense. only reason I want Arnold first is because I feel like I got mm. a lot by being first in the alphabet. And I school, always think I got you know? a lot by being in the S's. Like that all the cool kids were the S's. <laughs> the lame kids were the A's, but we at least got to go first and do stuff first. Yeah, I think the one syllable name always goes at the end. Or the yeah. one syllable last name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When it's Arnold hyphenated. Scott sounds right. Yeah. Scott Arnold. Yeah, it's, that's like a little heavy on the mouth. Like it would definitely be Ordman Dodge, not Dodge Ordman. Oh, wait. For I sure, know. I think. Taryn Dodge Ordman. Well, when we say Taren like... Taryn Ordman Dodge. It doesn't sound right. Because that's one syllable, two syllables. But that's, I think, because and. I okay. always I say Amy that. Jack. Thank you. You're welcome. Amy Jack. <laughs> Jack Amy. 
I don't know. Arnold Amy Scott Jeff. does sound better. It that does. is, that is not an Very argument close. between us yeah. Yeah. whatsoever. Yeah. We are, Take I'm, it to the courthouse. Yeah, I'm on board with Arnold Scott. It's just what I do with my middle name. That's the problem. Keep it. it. Yeah, keep it. <laughs> keep it go. It's really? Yours. Yeah. Yeah. Taryn Candace Arnold know. Scott. <laughs> Let us know in the comments. Yeah. What would you do if you were getting married and in had a gay way? And had like 12 <laughs> names. I was actually thinking we change it to last name Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> it would be Cammy it Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> Karen Tammy. So it would be Cammy. Cammy. Ta- what is it? <laughs> it would be Taryn Tammy and Cammy Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much. I, I do be loving it. We could be Scarnold. Scarnold. <laughs> the Scarnolds. Ew. We could do Arnold. a lot of things, but we won't. <laughs> yeah, so, but we could, and that's what's important. We yeah. are the Arnold Scots. That's so uh, cute. That is really the cute. The Arnold Scott family's coming over. <gasps> that's and then our we're family like, vlog channel. The Arnold Scott. Oh, cute. <sighs> I love that Amy figured out our future. Thank you. <laughs> She's going to be our manager. Perfect. Our family I think vlog channel said. manager. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for coming yeah, and you, bearing lovely. all of your you relationship. Yeah. To our home. This is oh. our house. I can't <laughs> wait to come back. Um, um, anytime. Where can we find your couple's channel? Um, <laughs> Fuck well, you. you. Each podcast, so they should go listen to your podcast. I do. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I always forget I do because mm-hmm. I haven't done it in so long. Oh, but yeah. I was meant to be on your podcast. Yeah, I know. But then we bought a house and then I couldn't keep up with it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Should happen. But I will. Uh, my podcast is called Stuck with Taryn Arnold. And you can listen to it if you feel a little bitty stuck, you know? Cute, babe. My podcast is Uneducated with Cammy Scott. Listen to Come it. Come get a little more little educated. Little with me. Yeah. And our podcast is called Tammy. <laughs> Tammy Arnold Scott. <laughs> I love it. Ew. Okay. Um, Thanks for listening. I'm Amy Yardman. I'm Jack Dodge. And this is Dating Straight. See you next Tuesday. I don't need that. We can be broken hearted lovers. You can help me recover. Ooh, we can be broken hearted lovers. You can help me